Hi there, my name is Father Lukas Misko. I'm a Dominican friar working currently as the Associate Director of the Catholic Human Center at the University of Washington in Seattle. And today it's certainly my pleasure to be with you and to answer uh, some questions you've been recently uh, asking. So, the questions for tonight are, why do the priests wear Roman colors and are the priests allowed to drink alcoholic beverages? You may be surprised why I have combined these two questions into one. Well, I did it because I see behind these questions a deeper one, the one that asks about the very identity of our priests. In what sense are they different than us, the rest of the flock? Do we really want them to be different? Perhaps they are just some casual guys who happen to run our ministries and be in charge of some programs in our parishes. So let's have a look at the life of priests and the expectation of certain difference that we may have towards them. Well, early in the history of Christianity, our bishops and priests would wear very regular casual clothes. As uh, late as in the 5th century, Pope Celestine writes that we, meaning bishops and priests, should be distinguished from the common people by our learning, not by our cloths, by our conduct, and not by our dress, by cleanness of mind, not by the care we spend upon our person. And there is certainly a beautiful vision behind it. Our priests, our shepherds, should win our respect not by the position they occupy, and therefore by the garb they wear as a sign of that position, but rather by the holiness of life. Soon that approach changed. In the 6th century, we may see the popes gradually requiring clerics to dress differently than uh, the lay people. And this new approach that throughout all the centuries has led us to the point where we are at now, with our priests wearing Roman colors, our black cassocks, our religious wearing their distinct habits. Well, this approach comes as a complementary one to this initial understanding of the way of life, the holiness of life that makes our priests distinct. Um, in our secular society, I believe it's really important to be able to see our priests and religious uh, as signs of hope, as signs of this deeper dimension of human life. And that's how Pope John Paul II described the requirement of wearing a clerical garb. He says that this is the way of reawakening in people the sense of the sacred. Also, very practically, it's a reminder for us priests, no matter whether diocesan priests or religious friars. Our religious garb simply reminds us who we are. And in a sense, it protects us in the society, uh, in different interactions with lay people, with people who are not necessarily religious. It just protects us and uh, clearly defines certain boundaries. What about alcohol? Well, it's easier than you think. We priests are allowed to drink. And you may look at some great Catholic writers like G.K. Chesterton, Hilaire Belloc, uh, to find some really um, joyful praises of Catholic culture that knows moderation. And I think moderation is the key. As Catholics, we truly appreciate different gifts of, uh, of nature and uh, the gifts of the table as well. As also signs of the future kingdom and the joy of heaven, uh, moderation is the key. As priests, as religious, we don't want to become addicted to any substance, of course. We also don't want to abuse any substance. So rejoicing in the gift of community that somehow is expressed by uh, uh, sharing food and drinks, that's the good way of, of using those gifts. And finally, I would ask you to pray for your priests, for us, religious and diocesan priests, that we may serve you well, that we may truly be with our presence and with the way we live signs and reminders of God's love for each one of you. And I wish all of you really fruitful, blessed land. God bless you.